So friends, let's see today's lovely goda tsashira recipe. Now here I have one cup of fine semolina, three fourth cup of sugar, with just a pinch of salt added to it on the top, one cup of milk, two cups of water, one teaspoon of cardamom or elaichi powder, or just take four elaichis and make them into a powder. And one fourth cup of mixed cashew nuts and raisins, and one tablespoon of sliced almonds for garnish. Now I'm going to uh, put the water to heat on a low to medium heat, and I'm going to add the milk to the water. So we have two parts of water with one part of milk. We're going to bring this to a gentle boil. Now I'm going to heat a pan. And once my pan is nice and hot, I'm going to add four teaspoons of clarified butter or ghee. Now, when you make the shira in ghee, it tastes really, really amazing. Now, once our ghee is nice and hot, we're going to add the cashew nuts and the raisins and just fry them a bit until they turn into a nice golden brown color. Now, if you don't have fine rava or semolina at hand, and if you have the medium size or the thick uh, kind of rava, all you need to do is just take it and blitz it in your mixer, or just grind it in your mixer to a very fine powder. Now, once they're fried, just take them out and keep them aside. Now, if you have only cashew nuts, you can add only cashew nuts. If you have only kishmish or raisins, you can only add that or the two. Now, in the same ghee, I'm going to add our semolina, and we're going to fry the semolina in the ghee really, really well. So, I fry them for about three minutes on a low to medium flame, and stirring continuously. And then you will see that the semolina or the rava starts to fluff up, and you also get this beautiful aroma of the semolina or the rava. Now you will see that the camera has changed. That's because my battery had conked off, so I'm using another camera. So sorry for that. Anyway, so now I'm going to add the sugar. Once the semolina is nicely fri uh, fried in the ghee, I'm going to add the sugar, and I'm going to mix the sugar as well as the uh, rava really well. I'm also going to add my cardamom powder. Now, if you want to know how to make this cardamom powder, I'll leave a link to my uh, recipe of elaichi powder or how to make cardamom powder at home. I'll leave a link to that. So mix every, all these three ingredients really, really well together. And now we are going to add our water and milk mixture, which was piping hot. So be careful, pour it in very gently. And we are going to stir it all well. So sometimes the rava is at the side. Just take all of that inside into the milk and water, so, uh, you know, mixture together, and just stir it gently. Now we're going to add our fried raisins and cashew nuts too, and we're going to keep stirring it for a while, for about a minute or so. And then we're going to bring it to a gentle boil. Now, once that happens, we're just going to cover and cook this on a low to medium flame for about. Three minutes. Keep an eye on it, though. And after three minutes, we're going to open the lid and again stir this gently. And you'll notice that uh, you know the mixture starts to thicken uh, immediately. All the milk and water evaporates. So just keep stirring this till it nicely thickens up. Now soon you will see that the mixture starts to leave the sides of the pan. So now we're just going to cover and cook it for another minute or so on a low flame. And now you can see that it immediately it starts leaving the sides of the pan, and uh, you know uh, it all comes together. So now turn off your flame. And our shira or godatsa shira is all ready. So I hope you give this recipe a try. And of course, we just have to uh, garnish it with some sliced almonds. 
So all I've done is just put it into a vati and you know shaped it like this and just added some lovely sliced almonds. So do try out this recipe. I'll catch you in my next video. Bye. Friends, I hope you liked today's recipe as well as today's video. And if you would like to see more videos like this, then don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up. Also, by, by clicking the thumbs up icon. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of Akshita's recipes. Once you have subscribed, there is a small little bell icon that will pop up. So just click on that. That way, whenever I put up a new recipe or a new video, you'll get a message for the same. So on that note, I'll say bye and I'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think. This is Akshita saying bye, take care, stay healthy, stay fit, be kind and loving to one another. So till we meet again, bye.